Hi guys, Tracy here with a layout uh, that uses almost entirely the Block Party uh, kit, which is the Studio Calico kit for January. And I just have the main kit. And um, so I have that picture there of myself that I actually took. I was FaceTiming my sister and I saw myself in the upper little corner. You can see, you know, like the other person on the main screen and then yourself up in the little corner. And the sunbeams, I was sitting beside the window and just the way that the sun was shining, I just thought it looked really cool. So I snapped a self picture in the middle of our conversation just because I thought it looked kind of cool. And I knew that I wanted to do um, an about me layout for January because um, of some lifestyle changes that I'm making that I end up journaling about that you'll see eventually. And so uh, the only things that are not part of the kit at this point is the doily. So you would have seen me look at a bunch of different doilies there. Um, sorry, I was blabbering through all of that. Um, I've decided to, in addition to outlining, I'm going to uh, be distressing the edges of all of my papers on this one just to give it a little bit more texture because I knew that I wasn't going to have too much going on in this layout so I wanted what I did have to you know have some texture to it. So I'm going to play around a little bit with where that doily goes just to make sure that enough of it is showing and I love that arrow circular paper at the bottom. Who makes that? Um, the arrow paper is pebbles. Oh, I love that paper. And I love the cloud paper too. I'm pretty sure that that is by American Crafts. So the kit also came with this really cool wide uh, washi tape and I'm going to cut it a little sh bit there so what it isn't so wide but I'm going to go back and add the wide piece because I'm going to need it because I'm going to put so much over that piece eventually. So now I'm going to, um, I just want to make myself a little embellishment here. So I'm going to use the right here, right now stamp, which kind of goes with a, you know, lifestyle change, new year, um, you know, type of layout. And so I just stamped it with Versamark ink and uh, embossed it with some black embossing powder and heated it, set it with my heat gun. And now I'm just cleaning off my stamps and putting them away. And so I did it a couple of different times. I, I usually goof up and make mistakes when I emboss. So I usually make a couple of different versions um, just so that I don't have to take out all my supplies again if I end up messing up. So I didn't want to outline that one, so I just inked the, around the edges of it just to make it look a little bit more finished. And I do like that. Um, it, I had to add some color to that top cluster because it didn't have much, so I added the yellow striped washi tape. If I could have gotten that uh, clip on the top, I would have, but it wasn't going to sit well anywhere. So I put that little arrow clip right there beside me. And now these are elf uh, thickers. And when I saw that um, plain chipboard letters were included in this kit, I knew I wanted to do a craft on craft title with it. I just didn't know which one it would be. And it turns out it's this one. So this layout, I actually started with the title. So um, you might have noticed I put my little title up at the very beginning. So the challenge for CHA, um, the CHA social at two peas, one of the challenges is to make a layout that uses a title uh, with four words. And so mine is in seven short days. And so I am sort of using, because I don't have lines on my paper and I'm too far away from the edges so I can't use my grid background as, as a help, I'm just using the wax paper there to um, basically instead of taking off each of the letters, I just wanted to kind of take them off quickly. Um, they did still need to be shifted around so that wasn't necessarily a good way to make sure that they're lined up. Um, like you might have seen other people do that where they line it up on like a clear ruler or on a piece of acetate or something. Um, but it just kind of helped me get the get the letters off the sheet quicker. And I did have to shift them and uh, make them straight again. So now I'm just uh, gluing down some of the things that had been just sitting on the layout and now I am looking at my um, 
banners and so I've got two different types of things this shape. I've got a little clip that I keep a bunch of cut out uh, shapes. Some of them are die cut shapes that were bought and some of them were printables that I've cut out. And then I also have another clip that, ha that holds a bunch of um, these banner stickers or label stickers, whatever you want to call them. So I knew I wanted to layer a bunch of labels down here. So I started with that yellow one, which is a uh, Studio Caligo printable, which I printed up and cut sometime over the summer, I think, um, and, but I hadn't used it yet. So I just put some uh, pop dots on either side so that the edges would be off the page. And then I'm just layering a couple of other labels uh, one of them says this is totally going on my blog and the other one says be the best you can be and the other one says courage strength valor and bravery and then 2013 and so I, this is totally going on my blog is because so you're gonna get to see my journaling here um, because I am going to be blogging about my um, fitness at some point I don't know I'm kind of the plan was that I was going to start quietly and then maybe say something later, but um, now I'm saying something now. So, <laughs> um, anyhow, so this is about how in seven, even though it's only been seven days, I feel like seven days has been enough to see enough of the impact on my, you know, overall how I feel, my mood, my energy level, and all that kind of stuff to make me know that. Uh, Basically, I can't imagine not doing this anymore because I feel so good. And so that's what this journaling is about. So hopefully I won't stop working out tomorrow because that would be very embarrassing. So <laughs> um, I'm just going to go back with my Stetler eraser, which is just one of those white gummy type of erasers and uh, very gently erasing my pencil lines. And when you use a Zig Writer, could be other pens as well that do this, but I find when I use a Zig Writer, um, my pen marks never smudge with that eraser. So that's part of the reason that I, if I'm penciling in my lines, I'll always use my Zig Writer instead of using one of my American Crafts precision markers or anything like that. Some other markers are just a little bit more likely to smear. So I'm just giving you a little bit of a close up of now I'm not sure if this is my end I think it might be the end yes it's the end I can't always tell <laughs> um, I actually added blue enamel dots up there at the top cluster because there wasn't enough color but you didn't get I don't even think that's in the photos I think I, I added them at the very 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 end so you won't get to see those you'll just have to imagine them um, there's the banner. So this one was a really quick and simple one. Uh, thanks for following me along with this one. Following along with me for this one. Take care. Bye-bye.